Good morning, uh, Ms. Uh, Fiorito. I'm calling from Pennsylvania, South Central Pennsylvania, near Harrisburg on uh, Monday, the 20th of March. I saw the articles about your controversial uh, uh, billboard in Phoenix. And uh, although I disagree with you, um, it appears that you're uh, willing to be controversial. So I'm going to ask you about doing a similar billboard um, showing President Obama uh, with the hood on like those executioners from ISIS and Uncle Sam being the person beheaded. How childish are you people? Like, you can't even politically argue a valid point? You gotta make up some ignorant shit on a post board? It's a shame, man. I agree you have freedom of speech, but like, it would be nice if Democrats would just behave responsibly. Do we as Republicans act like childish little assholes with eight years with Obama? No. We just waited for the next election, and then waited for the next election, and then rejoiced when, like, we got a real leader. Like, you have a right to disagree, but to put up some propaganda that throws back to something so hateful, that's just, you're just ignorant. Oh, you're the ones that put that nasty hate speech billboard up about Trump down there in Arizona? That's so rude. That's hate speech, dude. You need, you need to take that down. That's our president. Show some dignity and respect about yourself, why don't you? This is America. Not Germany, Nazi Germany, and he ain't no Nazi, and he ain't no racist, and y'all need to take that piece of shit sign down. If you're the artist of that billboard, you should be ashamed of yourself. I believe in free speech, but that's hate. He's our president, and you should show him respect, whether you agree with him or not. This is the United States of America. You should be ashamed. Hey, Karen, I'm very offended by your post, by your billboard that you made. I voted for Trump, and I am not a Nazi. I never have been, and I never will be. But the way that you all separate us and make us divided, it's all going to come back on you guys tenfold. You will reap what you sow. God will make sure of that. Because we have God on our side. And you all causing all the problems and the division and all the hate, it's ridiculous. We had to live with Obama for eight years, just like any normal presidency. Four or eight years. We didn't do anything like what you all are doing to President Trump. Because we let them do their time. We dealt with it. But I'll tell you one thing. I will be calling the senators in the state of Arizona. I will be making sure that something comes down. Because it's not only offensive to me and millions of voters who voted him in, and you all didn't think he would win, it's offensive to our democracy. So I hope you get millions and millions of phone calls from people because it's going to happen. And you will reap what you sow. I understand you've been getting threatening calls and things like that. I don't know who these people think they are, but you have a right under the Constitution. It's called freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and... Um, this needs to be in people's face, especially these Trump supporters, because they're too ignorant to get it. 